I've never actually seen a shark in real life, so I think it'd be really cool to see a shark. I'm kind of scared, but I think learning more about them will help me appreciate them more and what they actually do for the ecosystem rather than just being afraid of them. I'm really, really terrified of them. A lot of times we have kids that have never seen the ocean, never been on the ocean, never seen a shark except in a movie where the shark's eating people, you know? So for them to see sharks as they really are, you know, just majestic and beautiful, it changes a lot of the kids' perspectives. You're gonna be surrounded by nature your whole life. You might as well get to know it now. Right now we are in the northwest corner of Florida Bay. Within Everglades National Park, we deploy 10 drum lines. We leave that out for about an hour. Then we go recover them, and hopefully there's gonna be some sharks on the other end, and then our team can get busy. Bring them out, bring them out. Guys, it's a full shark! You come down the look, you'll see the water rushing through its gills. The next thing we do, we're gonna take a variety of different measurements on the sharks. And by we, I mean you. We bring out students primarily high school, out on the boat with us to participate in these practical, hands-on, real research. The goal of that is to get these kids excited about science and research, and also to help them develop a conservation ethic, become stewards of the oceans and of sharks. We brought out 1,400 kids last year. If we do that every year, we're gonna have an army of people who care about the ocean and want to see better things for it. To go out on a small boat and do your science is, is one thing. The other thing is to charter a big boat that can bring 20 kids. And the support from organizations like the, the Disney Worldwide Conservation Fund allows this to happen. One of the biggest reasons that sharks globally are declining is that they're being fished and targeted just for their fins. So part of our work is to also create an awareness. Their fins are used to make shark fin soup. We conducted a study with the University of Miami's medical school, and what we discovered is that the shark fins contain a neurological toxin linked with Alzheimer's, dementia, and ALS diseases. We provided that information to NGOs, the public, and that's helping lower the demand for shark fin soup. So that's a way that we've seen our work get to the, the source, the human behavior. This is a satellite tag. It looks like a little submarine, right? Whenever this breaks the surface, it gives us a position of exactly where that animal is. And in fact, we even upload that information on our website. We have an interactive Google Earth map where people from the public can follow our sharks. By better understanding kind of the forces that drive where they are, we can predict their migrations, their, their corridors, their feeding grounds, their mating grounds, and we can provide that data to managers, to policymakers, to protect those critical areas. She's transmitting. This project is a great example of community outreach at its best. We have research taking place that's very important for the conservation of sharks, but at the same time, they're focused on reaching out to local schools and getting children involved in the projects. One of the most rewarding things for me has been mentoring students, bringing them out into the field and seeing their faces when they actually see a shark for the first time. 